Hello and welcome to Where the Living Room Used to Be, a podcast about Rhode Island's music scene. Five, Mark Tabor. What is or was your favorite Rhode Island record store and why? Ray Muffet's. Yep. On Empire Street. That's the one we used to bunk school and go down and buy records, jazz records every Monday morning. Yeah. And there was a drummer upstairs, Jack somebody, had a drum, Jack's drum shop was upstairs. Oh, okay. And he taught jazz drums, or just drums. Yep. Drum, drum teacher. But well, Ray Muffet was um, my favorite record store. Then, uh, then it was Carl Dickens yep. over on um, North Main Street, House of Jazz. Yep. But they were great. Um, there were a few, but I always went to Ray Muffet's. I always enjoyed that one. Yeah, yeah. What was that experience like going into the store? Did you get excited? Was oh, it? sure. <laughs> could, we couldn't wait to get down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'd take a bus. Or we'd, we would hitchhike. Sometimes we'd hitchhike. Wow. Uh, from 95, which was kind of just been built, because we were reading on the road, so we, we'd stick our thumbs out, and we were, we were being Jack Kerouac, but we'd jump from off From East it. Providence to Providence. Yeah. <laughs> so from East Providence to Providence, on the road. And then we'd get all excited, and then we, we'd spend hours in there, and we'd go back, and he'd go one way, I'd go the other. Uh-huh. And that, and Would you compare stuff as well? Be like, look what I oh, found. Oh, yeah. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look, oh, you got to get that. Yeah. yeah. Oscar Peters was the Little Hampton or, yeah. or something, or the Jazz of the Philharmonic concerts, okay. which were amazing. Yeah. All of those were amazing. They had everybody in there. Yeah. What is your favorite drink? Tied to Rhode Island. Well, I gotta say Rhode Island. You gotta say coffee milk. Coffee milk, yeah. Uh, it's very Rhode Island. <laughs> and if they ask about food, it's gonna be hot weenies. Yeah. Do you usually get them together? You're like an Onlyville system kind uh, yeah. of guy. Yeah. And there's a place in East Providence, Sam and I go to. Yep. And you get three all the way and a medium-sized coffee milk. Yeah. And I have this theory. <laughs> Which place is it in East Providence? Uh, There's one on Taunton Avenue. Okay. Um, right across from what used to be the police station. I don't know what it's called now. Oh, okay. Um, I told Sam, growing up, I took him over there and he was a kid. And then later on, I said, you know, the earth is such a mess with pollution. The ground, the uh, growing vegetables, the sky with all the pollution of, from the cars, the oceans, the pollution of the oil and all that. We are surrounded by this horrible pollution. In order to be stay healthy, have three hot winnies a month, plus a small, uh, plus, plus a coffee milk. It's like an antivirus, you know? It's like the old <laughs> polio. Your immune system. Like, yep, um, it's like yeah. the old polio shots. You get a little bit of that, and that's where you keep away all the stuff. Yeah. And it's funny, he came down from Boston a, a ways back. I said, Sam, I picked him up on the train. I said, how you doing? He said, Dad, Dad, I don't know. I said, when's the last time you were vaccinated? Who's my chance? I'm weenies. He said, they're not weenies in Boston. I said, come on. He said, we got to go. I said, I know. Let's get on the weenie joint right now. <laughs> no. To yeah. stay healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's <laughs> that one. That's perfect. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite place in Rhode Island? My favorite place? Yeah, like as a, a certain park, a, a neighborhood. Um, is there a club, a beach? Uh, well, I'm not much of a beach guy. Yeah. But just but anywhere like where do you like to hang out in Rhode I Island? think I don't I don't hang out. <laughs> but um I think that's changed over the years because that could be one bar room or another bar room. Yeah. And then I switch to a different bar room. So I don't yeah. drink alcohol. Yeah. So that those are out. 
And but I do like to walk. Way the last couple of years, I do like walking from the gates all the way down there to Alfred Newman, along and, the Blackson Boulevard, and then take yeah. a right and go down to where it just takes a lot. Yep. And just go to that corner, pick up trash along the way, dump it in that trash barrel that's on that corner. Yeah. Turn around. Walk. I just love that big stone wall. Yeah. Uh, I just love the vibes. Um, and that is about that is about it. Really. Yeah. That's been my oh, it's favorite. Perfect. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice place, and I. Yeah. Uh, it's not the middle of a. It's not the middle of the boulevard. No. Yeah. The you're the grass on the side of yeah. the. <laughs> yeah. I like I like it over there. Yeah. By the stones. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, what is your favorite Rhode Island pizza? Pizza? Yeah. I love pizza. I mean, offhand, I would have to say Domino's, but there's other places. Um, yeah, that doesn't count as Rhode Island pizza, Mark. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> that's right. Um, I'm sure that Domino's would be pretty happy that Mark Tabor's favorite is that. But <laughs> well, I don't know. But there are, there's, you know, one question, and I've, I have yet to do this. Um, I'm curious. How many pizza shops are there in the state of Rhode Island? Oh, I mean, there's hundreds. Oh yeah, there's yeah, kind of big. Yeah, like, um, for, yeah. There's the I pizza mean, pie is great pizza. Yeah. Um, oh, there's so many good pizza places. Yeah. I was raised on Domino's, so I'll give it to Domino's. But I mean, they don't have. I'll give it a Domino's. I'll just say pizza. Let them fight over it. <laughs> cool. Uh, what is your favorite event that takes place in the States? And it could be a music event, like a music festival, or it could be you know, a parade or a sporting event or anything like that. Yeah. Um, I used to go to the Newport Music Festival. Yeah. The old jazz festival when they were at Freebody Park before the riot. Oh, yeah. I was just a kid then. That's when I started out. I was like 15 or 16. And live, I heard Count Basie. I heard, wow. God, just, you know, like a 15-year-old kid. I did. Oscar Peterson mm -hmm. played. Oh, my God. So that was huge for me. And big events... I'm not really into that as much. I'm not a sports guy. Yeah. Sam is. My son Sam is. He follows every sport there is. Yeah. Um, I follow it with him somewhat. That's another story. But um, I like times for family. Uh huh. Like and like I like Thanksgiving probably the best one. Yeah. Because you don't have to buy anything, everybody. You don't have to worry about who they already have this. Yeah. You know, but well, he gave you this. You got to. No, we're happy to be here together. Yeah, exactly. You know, one more year has gone by, mm -hmm. and I've got to. I've taken a kind of another step. I don't know why it's only one day a year. Well, how, why isn't Thanksgiving every single day uh -huh. to be grateful yeah. to your family? Why isn't every day Mother's Day and Father's Day uh -huh. and Children's Day and Pets Day? I mean, every single day, I mean, here we are. Yeah. One day out of the year, we all get to say, goody for me. And um, I, mean, you know, I look at it, I see the big circle. And, What's the difference? Yeah. But I'm, I like times when people brings out their appreciative stuff, their positive mm -hmm. vibes. And, being together with a family. Like when Sam comes down from Boston, we didn't see him for over a year because of the COVID. Yeah. He came down and then he and Julie and I played music together. She plays bass. I mean, how, how much better does it get? Yeah. She's his mother, I'm his father. And we sit and play boogie woogie together. I mean, how about it? It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. You know, and we can do that any time. Yeah. Um, that's just wonderful. Yeah. Uh, you can't buy that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Well, thank you, Mark. This has been a real pleasure to get to sit and talk with you. And well, thank so you. Much. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to drive home. I'm going to say, oh, I should have told him this. Oh, I should have told him that. Of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah.